Currently Kirkland. Your source for city news and events in the community. With Erica Sanford at the news desk, stay up to date with weekly news reports on what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Erica. Welcome to Currently Kirkland, where every week you can engage with your community by discovering the latest developments in, around, and about your city. I'm Erica Sanford. Before June 5th, Ron Escarta had never attended a Kirkland City Council meeting. The psychiatric hospital he runs had always been across the street from the city limits, so he never really had any need. But that changed with annexation last June. And on June 5th of this year, the Chief Executive Officer of Fairfax Hospital attended the City Council meeting to report his first year experiences with Kirkland's police officers. And from the first day of service, the police response was quick, efficient, and professional. This team approach to assuring the safety of all Fairfax patients, visitors, and staff has become the hallmark of Fairfax's interaction with the Kirkland Police Department. Before he delivered that message, however, Ron Escarta listened to a less optimistic message about a very different topic. Without your financial support for the fireworks, we're not going to have much of a 4th of July in Kirkland. That message resonated. They didn't have any other options, so now they were coming to the city council to ask them to kind of step up and fill the gap. And the city council said they only had had a partial request for the necessary funds and they were still going to be about seven thousand dollars short. And so after police chief Eric Olson accepted his hospital's thank you, Ron Escarta asked for the microphone back. I think that's when I actually made the final decision. Uh, it was in, in that moment. As a newly uh, annexed member of the Kirkland uh, City, uh, I would pledge on, on behalf of Fairfax Hospital that um, whatever shortfall there was or existed uh, after you um, decided to allocate some funds for the 4th of July fireworks, we would make up the difference. Whoa. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the city of Kirkland. It feels like this is the right thing to do. Uh, for the community, uh, certainly for the hospital, as a, an appreciative member of the of the uh, of the, the, the new Kirkland community. The pledge ensures that one of Kirkland's biggest public events will conclude with the grand finale that residents expect. Traffic will be a big concern for the city on the 4th. Parades, exhibitions, and food vendors will occupy many downtown streets. The city is encouraging residents to carpool, take a bus, or ride a bike to downtown that day. The day of events begins at 9.30 a.m. in the Marina Park Pavilion with the Decorate to Celebrate Kids event. The day culminates 13 hours later with the fireworks show at Marina Park. For a full list of events, please visit CelebrateKirkland.org. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? And the consent calendar is... Approved. Last week, Kirkland City Council authorized City Manager Kurt Triplett to sign a new three-year animal services contract with King County. Under the new agreement, King County will assign one animal control officer for the Northern District, which includes Kirkland and eight other cities. And for three years beginning in 2013, King County will continue to license, control, and shelter Kirkland's animals. This new contract is an improvement of the original contract with King County, which expires at the end of this year. One of the new contract's most significant improvements is a change to the way King County charges Kirkland for its services. The new system bases 20% of the costs on population size and 80% on use. The old system based 50% of animal services costs on the city's population size. The other 50% was based on use. The new formula reduces cost to Kirkland for all three years of the new contract. The new contract also caps program costs in the first year and restricts increases to inflation and major population shifts in 2014 and 2015. For Kirkland and other cities, this new approach controls costs, minimizes financial risks, and ensures predictability. City Manager Kurt Triplett said King County's commitment to cap costs and establish predictability in 2014 and 2015 was critical to the city of Kirkland. 
While the city's leaders analyzed the possibility of a Kirkland-run system for the same time period, they discovered that the required startup costs exceeded the price of King County's system. Kirkland's leaders will monitor the effectiveness and cost efficiency of the county's service throughout the contract period. At the same time, they will continue to evaluate a local service delivery option, which at some point could be the city's more cost-effective channel of delivering animal services. This week, Cascade Bicycle Club President Daniel Weiss will give us a pointer on how to make traffic more compliant. So normally when you're coming into an intersection, even if you have the right of way, it's a really good idea to slow down and bike very defensively at that point. So defensive biking is actually the best way to deal with a situation where the sight lines are not in your favor, which is usually the case with cross traffic. Children's folk musician Johnny Bragar will kick off eight straight weeks of concerts on July 10th with his 10 a.m. concert at Marina Park. He is a wonderful blues musician who does music that the, that the kids love and the parents also love. Very, very catchy, fun blues music. The summer-long playlist includes 16 different musicians, ranging in style from Casper Baby Pants' silly storytelling. And he will be solo this year. This is his new incarnation, and he's really excited about it. It sounds like it's been a big hit everywhere. To Clinton Fearon's legendary reggae. Children's musicians will perform at 10 a.m. every Tuesday at Marina Park. Thursday evenings are dedicated to all listeners and all types of music, including salsa, bluegrass banjo, swing, and blues. This is the 35th year of Kirkland Summer Concert Series. For more information, visit kirklandsummerconcerts.org. And on a final note, we'll be seeing you every other week through September. Remember, you can access any episode of Currently Kirkland on demand on the city's website, on your mobile devices, and on YouTube. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have any news tips, suggestions, or comments, please send them to kirklandtv at kirklandwa.gov. Thanks for watching Currently Kirkland. We'll see you in two weeks.